Okay, so now we're going to take everything that we've learned. This, this video is going to be a little bit longer, uh, but we're going to walk through the creation of an object uh, using all of the, or, or many of the um, operations that we've learned so far. So uh, I'm going to go out to the web once again, and I'm going to do a search for a fish. Fish, is, fish are kind of a, a great um, object to start with because they do they are made of simple shapes and uh, you can get pretty creative with them. So I'm going to start with this one right here. Uh, I'm going to right click on this one and hit copy image. And I'm going to switch back to Inkscape and I'm going to paste this image into my artboard. Okay, so if you look at this one, uh, pretty simply, I think you could get by with creating uh, this sort of oval football shape like we did in a previous lesson. This could be a, a box that we, this tail could be made of a box that we cut in half. And these can be also boxes that we cut in half and turn sideways. So um, we'll, we'll start with this. I'm going to make the fish some sort of orange color, I guess. And I'm going to start by making a, 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 an exact circle. And I'm going to use Control D to duplicate it and create a second one about right there. And I'm going to take the two, and I'm going to say path, intersection, and it's going to give me that shape there. And this isn't quite the same, so I'm going to tighten it up a little bit, maybe not. It's pretty close. Okay. So there's the body of the fish, and I'm going to add a tail. And the way I do that is I'm just going to bring out a square. I'm going to turn it on its side here, like that. And I'm going to cut cut some of it off, so I'm going to start a rectangle here. And select both, and use the difference property right there, the difference operation. So now you can see the, the uh, fish is starting to take shape here. And notice on this fish, from the graphic, there's this sort of indentation here. Um, the cool thing with when you start to com use these combines and like unions and differences, when you start to do those things, these objects automatically become paths. And so you can tell that, that the lesson that we just learned earlier, this turns into a hand that allows me to modify the shape just automatically. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add the two fins. So again, I'm going to take uh, square. I'm going to turn it, and I'm going to, in this case, I'm actually going to use the division property, because now I can take these two, and now they become two different ones. So I can put one there. I can rotate this one and put it there. So I took one square and I made two halves out of it. Okay, And then I'll take a circle. And this circle I can make white down here. Okay, And I could even actually take that circle and select the body and take the difference out of it. So I've actually chopped a hole into there, which is fine. You can do that too. And then I'll take all of them, and I will come. I'll make a union of them, and now I've got this this fish that's a single piece that can then be resized or reshaped this way. Okay. And even if I wanted to go in and make some subtle changes, like maybe I wanted to make that bigger, and I wanted to make this bigger, maybe the tail. a little bit bigger this way. So I've got a lot of freedom at this point once once this all becomes a path. Okay? And just like that I've made I've made a fish and I can go back in and you know I can add other things to it. So like I can take another circle and maybe make it a black circle. And this could become a little eyeball. Um, so there's a number of different things that you can do uh, to to increase the uh, the artistic nature of of the fish. 